Hello, I'm John Reed, employer liaison with Career Opportunities and the facilitator of this podcast. Welcome to Before You Cross That Bridge, a podcast series focusing on helping young adults find a job and or a career on Cape Cod. Today's guest is Adam Burnett, financial advisor with Mass Mutual Financial Group in Hyannis. Adam is a graduate of Barnstable High School and Bentley University. He was committee chair of The Last Gasp, a member of the board of directors for Cape Cod Young Professionals, and a Barnstable Little League coach. So, Adam, thank you so much for joining us today. And uh, our biggest question to you at this point is, what is your best piece of advice for young adults looking for a job or career on Cape Cod? Well, thank you for having me, first of all. Um, my, my biggest piece of advice for people interested in pursuing a job here on the Cape is to be laser focused on what you want to do, but very much open-minded about how to get there. Hmm. Sometimes opportunities present themselves in the least likely of places. So I think it's very important to focus on networking, attending as many network events as possible through Cape Cod Young Professionals, the local chambers of commerce and clubs and activities that you're interested in, getting involved in charity work or pursuing hobbies that will help you interact with people that have like-mindedness and uh, and have the same interests as you. Great. Also, Cape Cod Young Professionals has a uh, great job board on capecodyoungprofessionals.org that can help uh, link you up with a potential employer. Um, and uh, and that's a wonderful resource to uh, tap into. Well, that's great to know. Uh, as I was giving you an intro and I mentioned the last gasp, I have to confess I don't know what the last gasp is. Could you explain a little bit about what that's all about? Sure. The last gasp is a charity bike ride that leaves from the bridges at the canal and goes all the way up to the tip of P-Town. It's uh It's uh, 60 miles long, and it's held uh, the second or third weekend in September every year. It benefits eight local nonprofits, and um, for Cape Cod Young Professionals, in years past, we've been one of the beneficiaries of the ride, and so I helped develop the team for Cape Cod Young Professionals and the fundraising efforts, and then helped uh, train the team over the course of the summer to be able to conquer that 60-mile bike ride in the hills in Truro. Well, that's quite an accomplishment. Certainly, you're setting an example for young people in terms of just getting out there, getting involved, uh, the outreach in the community. It's not just solely about job, career, what's in it for me. No, it's not. And, you know, many of the opportunities that have helped me be successful here on the Cape are were the catalyst uh, were from getting involved with not only Cape Cod Young Professionals um, and my board role there, but also the charity bike ride, um, coaching Little League, and also I'm on the board of directors for the um, Cape and Islands Boy Scout Council. My Excellent. son recently uh, got involved with the Cub Scouts, and I was asked to be on their board of directors. And, and um, you know, it, it puts you in contact with people that otherwise you might not interact with. And uh, opportunities, like I said earlier, present themselves in the least likely of places sometimes. So I think it's beneficial for you to get involved in whatever you're passionate about and in whatever capacity uh, helps you interact with people. Well, certainly you exemplify what you said at the beginning of our conversation, that you've managed to balance being laser focused with being flexible. And I really do think that you've achieved that ideal and you set a great example. Uh, any, any final thoughts? Well, um, again, networking, I think, is key. Um, Cape Cod Young Professionals has three networking events uh, per month. One is a Coffee Connect uh, that meets around Cape Cod, uh, generally at 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, then there's a Lunch Connect um, that um, also travels around the Cape. And finally, on the first Thursday of every month, there's an after hours connect. 
um, that uh, generally has between 75 and 125 young professionals all there for the sole purpose of socializing and networking uh, to promote their businesses. I think that those would be tremendous um, networking events to tap into. You don't have to be quote unquote a young professional to attend. Great. Um, and you don't you don't have to be employed at the time. In fact, many people that come to these events are seeking employment, and it's a great outlet to uh, get in front of people. And employers um, are prevalent at these events, and they are looking for young, talented help. And it's just a matter of uh, connecting the two parties. Well, that's wonderful, Adam. And I really thank you for joining us today. Uh, we value your participation, and I will look forward to looking at your website. Excellent. So for all of you listening out there, remember, before you cross that bridge, visit Career Opportunities, the Cape's one-stop career center. <laughs>